In this session, we're going to talk about how to transfer data from the 190 series scope meter to the FlukeView software. We're going to start by connecting the USB cable. Little door over here, we'll take our cable and plug it in. You want to do that before you start your software. On the laptop, we'll open up FlukeView. And assuming you've made your connection before, it should connect directly to the scope meter. We've got several options here on the menu bar. We've got cameras for downloading screenshots, and we've got the waveform indicators A, B, C, D for gathering data. We'll start by taking a camera snapshot. This will just bring a graphic view of what's on the screen of the scope with no actual data. So you can see that right there. If you want to look at waveform information, I'm going to click on the one with a question mark on it. That will allow us to actually choose what we want to bring over, you know, which waveform, and we want to bring it in from our active waveform selection, or we can do a drop-down menu and select something from memory. That's something we've saved in the scope meter already. Right now we've got channel A highlighted, I'm going to select channel B as well, click start, and now we've brought the same information we had in the other display, but we have the actual data. This allows us to use cursors to go through and look at the information. We can take a cursor, scroll across the screen. In this block, we see the cursor values for the red waveform. If I click down the blue waveform, the cursor is popped down here, and I see the values for channel B. If I want to transfer information into a report, the easiest way is to right click on the snapshot, select copy graphics. I can then go into Word, have a report template opened up, and simply come down here, right click and paste, and put those graphics right into my Word document. And that's how you transfer data from the 190 series scope meter to the Fluke view and into a Word doc.